Welcome back to episode 17 guys of the Football Manager 2021 series here on the channel. We have a few games left in the league, we have a Scottish Cup final to contend with. Can we bring home 55? It's looking a tough task, but it will be decided in today's episodes and also will the Cup final. But we are away Easter Road, 4 points to gap, 3 games to go, Celtic at home to Ross County. We're away to Easter Road here, it's going to be a tough affair. Can we get the job done? Scott Arfield's way in international duty. Absolutely shafting me in the process there. But the ball is thrown to Ryan Kent. Barisic drops it in. It's Kamar Roof with his 20th goal of the season. And the big man is just not disappointing. And now Kamar Roof again. What can he do? Can he find a second of the afternoon? No, he finds Giannis Hagen. He loves a goal against Hibbs. And he gets his fourth goal of the season. He could have sworn he had more than that. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles in the end. But Celtic beat Ross County 3-1. So with two games to go, we have now on the verge of getting jobbed out. We need Celtic to draw and get beat. Or two draws would potentially do. Um, I don't know. What I need, I'd need to do the math, guys. And uh, the head-to-head -head, uh, the, or the goal difference or blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know if we're ahead. I know we can see it last, but it depends on how many... You've also scored, but moving on next here, we have got the Scottish Cup final. Massive game, Handon Park, ready for Scottish Cup spectacle. And I think we're going to get the job done here. I think we've turned the corner ever since we've changed the, the, the mindset of the players to positive, which seems to be completely and utterly overpowered. But yeah, the current holders are uh, Celtic, but that will happen no more here. Dave Schofield wants a wee interview. I chose not to speak to him, but here we go. Team selection, Scottish Cup final. It's going to be a massive game. Can we bring some silverware back to the club? Now into the cool action scene graphics here at this pish stadium known as Hamden. Only joking, Hamden's quality, man. But anyway, um, yeah, well, actually quite a lot of the Aberdeen players have faces. And uh, that is the bottom line in that department. But no, no, all that matters in my department is we pick up the win here. And we win the, some silverware this season. And hopefully... Day something about the last game, but Barisic whips it in, it can't quite be won by anyone, but now it's Kennedy charging forward here for Aberdeen, can he go round Barisso, but now it's out to Ferguson, that's not looking good, and now it's Otisvai out to Johnny Hayes, Johnny Hayes now looking to whip the ball in, and it's whipped in, Hollander manages to clear it, And, and that's Ryan Kent into the bottom right hand corner <laughs> and it's a fucking it was a fantastic finish now Ryan Kent wants it again it's come on roof and we lead 2-0 here in the Scottish uh, Cup final here absolutely fantastic and now into the full time whistle we get the full celebrations here at the end they are a wee bit retarded <laughs> but there is no Denying it, man. We've deserved it, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, my brother. Testify. No, not every day you pack on an iron, is it? But anyway, man, here we go. There we go. Tab left in it. All the players celebrating. And yeah, great wee win here against Aberdeen. We've got them in the last game of the season, so if we could replicate that, that would be um fantastic. The Aberdeen fans still at that portion of the stadium, really wondering why uh, you'd think they would have uh, hung themselves by this stage of the game. We get a wee achievement there, Cup Glory, you won a top domestic cup. So yeah, Kent and Bruff do have been our star players this season performing. Uh, as you can see though, they didn't actually count last season's cup. Obviously that was supposed to be a contested between Hearts and Celtic, but they never factored it into that game. But we've got two games to go guys, Celtic ain't playing the day, they're playing another day. But we are away to Ross County. We need to win this and just hope for a miracle from Livingston and hope Celtic job out. But that is the team that we'll be playing. It's Kamar Roof and Morelos linking up. The goalie got a glove tip. But Kamar Roof gets his 22nd goal of the season. And that is what we like to see. Yanis Hadji flicks through Kamar Roof and he gets his 23rd goal of the season, man. And this guy is just an absolute um, lethal weapon. Absolutely um, fantastic, but now, ho oh, ho, talk about fantastic, Elianusi opened the scoring for Celtic, Pop Popinic, 
got fucking two for Livingston. Scott Brown then has a meltdown, gets sent off, and that takes us to the final game of the season, Helicopter Sunday. And that is utterly fantastic. Also, relegation not decided as well. Gary McAllister wants us to talk to the players. We are just going to tell them. Nice slip-ups, nice Stevie G's, only joking, man. Let's just go out there and batter them. Batter Hibs, and let's see what happens. No, not batter Hibs. Batter Aberdeen, and let's see if Hibs can batter Celtic. I mean, the players, oh, they didn't benefit from it. Well, well so what, man. So fucking... Wait, but there we go. That is the two games here. The Ross County Livingston game, literally irrelevant. No, no, none of their positions can change. It's all about the top two and the bottom two. They're, they're the positions that matter. But winning the league for us is all that matters. Forget relegation, man. That doesn't matter. But Morelos, Roof, Kent, the, the the usual guys. It's definitely more about what Hibs do rather than what we do. But there it is, man. Decent enough team for Aberdeen. And now Kennedy. For opening minute of the match, he whips the ball across to Conte, now he whips it into Cosgrove, and it almost sneaks past Alan McGregor, and that was almost good bloody night, and as you can see, Celtic have dropped below us, which must mean the Hibernian, Hibs have got the job done, it's through to, oh yes, and it's a tap in from Alfredo Morelos, and that is Unreal, it's back to Kamar Roof, Aribo, and it's 2-0, and it looks like we have done the job that we need it to do here, and um, it's the seventh goal of the season, half-time, latest scores, and it is McGuinness, the difference at Easter Road, and now we go into, it. have we got enough, have we got the job done, and yes we have man, 55's been delivered last day of the season, we have not been top of the league at any point, apart the last fucking 70 minutes of the last game of the season. Celtic, either get beat or they drew with Hibs, but quite frankly, it doesn't actually matter what they did. All that matters is that they didn't pick up three points. We did, and now we left 55. What a great episode. 55, we've done the double, right? And it was looking at a stage of this season, we were going to finish a distant second and win approximately hee-haw. So, you know, you've got to take your dubs when they come. Will this be a... We'll put it this way, actually. I mean, in real life, we get jobbed at the League Cup. Looks like we're walking the league, and there's obviously this cup to go, but we're still in the Europa League in real life, you know? So, could it be a treble with a European title in there? Who knows? But there you go. They did get a goal back, but Mikey Johnson bottled it, and Dundee United have actually get beat. Um, and that means that they are relegated back to um, the cha championship, which is just weird. That yeah, yeah, Toure will be playing in the Scottish Championship. But we talked to the, the news there. We're celebrating our title glory, rightfully. So fifth, times one, 55. It just looks like Barry Ferguson labels us as uh, the top man. Fantastic, man. I mean, I just didn't think it would happen. People talk about how Celtic are invincible in this, and I've just rocked up and fucking battered them last game of the season. And um, absolutely shown them up. 3.35 million here. Um, for achieving first place in the uh, Scottish Premier Ship bonuses are paid out but now I believe we go into the end of season review and there's a lot of shit to get through here and well uh, I'll try and get through it so yeah transfers in we only did bring in one new signing and that was Lauren Shankland uh, we did, it wasn't exactly fantastic for us but he did score quite a few key goals particularly in the um, the cup I mean 8 appearances 20 I mean, they're not they're not ex they're not exactly happy the board by the looks of it. I see minus, but how could they be too bothered, man? We won the league, us and Celtic in the Champions League, Aberdeen in the Europa League, and then we've obviously got the new competition that they're bringing out, which will be in it next see in, in next year in real life as well. So yeah, those two getting that and Hamilton going to the playoffs to see if they will survive another year. Hopefully, they uh they don't, guys, but. Fantastic, man. You cannot complain with that. Livingston finishing our incredibly high fourth. Hibs finishing, like, I mean, they'll probably be disappointed with that. You'd expect them to finish minimum fourth, to be honest. Uh, Ross County finishing in the split. I mean, look at that. Ross County on points actually technically finished fucking um, 10th, but obviously due to the split, they didn't. Here's some other shit. Here's our team of the season based off ratings. Arfield, the only other guy that ain't um, 
in the green while well, Waxy Bauer, Alan McGregor there. But Kamar Roof and Kent, they were definitely my players of the season. You cannot argue with it, man. Um, Club of Wars, fans player of the season, Barisic, young player of the season, had Monsoon, Hadji got the most assists, Roof got the most goals, and signing of the season was Shanklin, but yeah, again, he was the only signing. Uh, Jack got the worst discipline, and loads of shit like that. But anyway, guys, let's see who gets promoted, and it is Dunfermline, 3 2, so we've got two new teams in. The Scottish Premiership for next season, that is Hearts and Dunfermline. And here we go, we got a bunch of achievements here getting won in, and I love getting achievements, brother. Um, I don't know, it's seen more over in the 360, though, getting achievements, uh, to be honest. Uh, Edwards win, uh, wins that, Hadji wins Young Player of the uh, Year Award, the Writers. Um, Hang, uh, well, we win all the goal of the seasons, and here we go, Team of the Year, Ruth, Aribo, Barisic, and Tav, one Dundee United player in there, despite the fact they got relegated, <laughs> and the rest are Celtic. I mean, we had by far the best defensive record, but get the two defenders and goalie man are in there. It's a bit retarded in my opinion. But anyway, guys, that will do it for episode 17, Helicopter Sunday. What an episode this has been. Next time out, well, it'll be the start of season two. I've already played a couple of games, start of the season and that. Signed a few players, a few bit of star power as well, guys. But anyway, till next time, peace.